hyperrealistic flux locally. Hello, my bros and my wholesome ladies. That that's what I meant to say. Yes. So today I was told Olivia showed you how to use Flux 1.1 online for money as much as four cent per picture. Ridiculous. You know, I'm broke, but I'm free. So I render locally. So today we're going to check out how to do that with Flux 1 depth on your computer. Let's get started. So let's check out some of these hyper realistic photos that can be created with that. And of course, we have here one of the whole some ladies, of course, to start with very beautiful sitting at a beach. Here is an advice. Here's a trick in the prompt, right? For example, flowers in the foreground, because then it looks a little bit more like it is a distant photo and has some more atmosphere. It looks less than a AI image. Here we have the next picture of this kind of couple here walking. So if you can come up with some paparazzi scenes or things like that, things that look more real or feel more real, this is also a huge benefit to making it look more real. Here we have a rich guy in front of his mansion, of course, as you are. So this looks super realistic and everyday. -ish. Don't believe all like that. Again, we have some bushes in the foreground. And here we have a guy fishing, also very cool, standing in the lake. Very, very nice. And again, we have some grass here in the foreground. Here we have a little kid playing in the grass, also pretty nice. Here's my uncle Edward, the Fedward, as we call him. And as you can see, if you have a scene where the person is not looking directly at the camera and doing some everyday task, like looking for some nice goods in the supermarket, then of course, this looks even more like an actual real photo. And then here we have a lady in the cafe looking out of the window and that's part of the prompt. And that again makes it look more real. And you can also say you want to have some light flares. This might add to the atmosphere. Have some style, my bros. So listen up, my goons. I can't believe I had to come back from my trailer park holiday for this, but here it is. And of course, I'm stealing that stuff from the internet because why not? So this dude here, he posted that guy. He posted on Stable Diffusion on Reddit. He shows the prompt and the settings down here. And for everybody who is only able to click one button, of course, I figured it out for you in Forge UI, which should be the same in automatic 1111. And the Conf UI guys already know how to build that themselves. So here it is. You have your flux model, of course, flux one depth. And then you have your VAE, you have your T5XXL and the Clip Vision 1 model. So far, so easy, right? You put your prompt, you put your sampler, Euler, scheduler, simple, steps. 25, you can decide on something else. The original posts use 1024 by 640, CFG distilled by 3.5 and CFG scale one. Now in the original post, it is using the high res fix and that is slow as crap. So I'm not gonna do that. So you render your prompt through this, gonna look at the prompt in a second. And then when you're done, and you like the picture, that's the most important part here. You're gonna press this beautiful button here for send to image. And then you have this and you scroll down to the bottom and there you have the ultimate SD upscale. If you have not, you need to install the ultimate SD upscaler as an extension, very easy. Of course, also you need the upscale model. So the original post on Reddit suggests the 4X NMKD CX 200K. And of course, after that, you also want to set here this to scale for image size and set it to two. So it's upscaled two times. And very important up here for the denoise, you set this to 0 0.3. Then you just hit generate. That is everything you need to do. So let's get to the meat of this boneless chicken, my friends. This is the prompt. I try to color highlight it so it's a little bit easier to understand. So the most important part here is that we have paparazzi telephoto lens. Now I want to point out here, sometimes there's going to be a telephoto lens in your image. So you can, if you want to isolate it to just paparazzi 
leave out the telephoto lens part. Then you want to describe the person, celebrity helps, but you can also play around with that. Doesn't have to have any chihuahuas in there if you don't want to have that. Then, of course, you want to define the time of day. That is pretty important. And next, you want to define what the person or multiple people are wearing in that image, of course. Then afterwards, define something like here with the parked cars, some stuff that is either to the side or in the foreground that makes all of the shot more realistic. Of course, then you want to also insert the LoRa, another amateur LoRa with a strength of one. Play around with that. And at the end, you can put shot on a mobile phone. Again, this can lead to a mobile phone appearing in your shot with a person holding it. So you can also leave that out. Now, here's some other advice. You could, instead of writing shot on a mobile phone, write amateur photo bad light. That might help to also give you something that looks more like an amateur shot. If all of this isn't real enough for you, I can highly advise that you, for example, use Lightroom or another software. But Lightroom, not Lightroom Classic, includes automated presets that are loaded from their community. And here you can have a lot of choices, like, for example, this or that looks pretty cool. Also, different kind of black and white styles, everything you want. Very nice. This looks, for example, very cool. And like that, with the AI image and some photo editing, it looks even more real. So that's it, my friends. Leave a like so I can be the king of the trailer park again. Maybe even subscribe so my tribe is growing. And see you in my next video. Hacker man out. Bye.